Sometimes you want to remove your saddle because it's creaking and other measures haven't worked. Or you may just want to change to a new saddle. Hi, I'm Tony, Tony Ken Speed. We're going to show you some tips and tricks that will make your life a lot easier. Let's take a look. Make sure the bike is on a level surface. Using a carpenter level, place one portion of the level in the high portion of the saddle in the back and on the tip. Notice where the bubble is because this will give us an idea of the tilt when we replace the saddle. In this case it happens to be in the middle. Most of today's saddles have markings on the rails to allow for replacement in the fore aft position. I suggest you use your camera and take a photo of this for replacement of the saddle. Now let's loosen the bolt that holds the seat on. There may be one or two depending on the seat post used. We'll turn this counterclockwise. You may be able to do it just enough to rotate the upper part of the clamp mechanism. Let's see if we can do that. If we were replacing with a new saddle, this would be the point at which we would place it on and turn this back. But in this particular case, we're dealing with a creaking, noisy seat post that we haven't been able to solve the problem. So we're going to take the whole mechanism apart. Clean the entire clamp mech with the greaser as well as the bolt. Using a little bit of grease or in the case of fiber carbon we use fiber grip. Let's put a little grease on where the rails meet the mech of the clamp as well as some grease on the bolt itself. Go ahead and replace the bolt and engage this top oblong nut just barely so we can rotate the top of the clamp and get the seat in. Take your seat, usually sliding it from the back, lifting up the upper portion of the clamp, and then rotating the topper part of the clamp. We should now be able to tighten the bolt from the bottom. With a single bolt system, just snug up the clamp bolt just enough such that we can adjust the tilt and the forward rear placement using our carpenter's level. We'll get this where we had it before. We'll then move the seat back and forth until we have the adjustment we had on our photo and begin turning the bolt clockwise to tighten. Once we've done that, we need to torque the bolt. Once the C-clamp bolt is snug, take your torque wrench and torque it to manufacturer specifications. Too loose and your bike saddle is going to move around. Too tight and you risk stress stressing the individual bolt which may break with disastrous results if you happen to be riding. To remove the saddle on a double bolt seat post clamp, loosen the rear until you can unhook the bolt from the clamp. There we go. Lift it up. 
push the seat forward and you can remove the saddle. Now you can clean the mechanism, re-lube the portions of the mech that the saddle rails go on. If you want to be complete and you're having trouble with creaking or squeaking, you can also re-grease the bolts after removal. To reattach the saddle on a double bolt system, such as we have here, hook on one rail of the saddle, then the other rail, bring it down, and hook the bolt on the bottom, and you're ready to tighten. With our two bolt system, we can make minor adjustments. If we want the back of the seat to come up a little bit to get that bubble in the middle, you can loosen the rear counterclockwise and tighten the front. Now we can see that bubble moving right towards the middle and you can readjust it just a little bit at a time. And then finally we get these snug tighten the rear, tighten the front, and go back and forth a little bit until they feel snug. And then with your torque wrench set to specifications that says 12 nanometers on this particular stem, go ahead and tighten back and forth the front, the rear and front. until the torque wrench clicks and you know you're at the right torque. Recheck your level, perfect, and we're set to ride. If you have On this particular bike, I was getting some creaking. I was pretty sure it was from the seat, since it was whether I was pedaling or coasting. So it wasn't the pedals, it wasn't from the handlebars, it didn't increase when I was pulling hard on the handlebars going uphill and disappear when I Took my hands off the handlebars. I had taken apart the saddle clamp and greased it and was still getting some creaking. So here's what I did. Using a light lubricant, in this case superior lubricant from TriFlow, placed the drop where the rails went into the saddle itself. And let that soak in. And next time I took it out, perfectly silent. If you have any suggestions or additions, please comment below. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.